Hey everyone, welcome to your first video for the sew along. This week we are working on a running stitch, which you may already be familiar with sewing. You might use it, for example, as a basting stitch. It's a very simple over and under stitch. Um, but for embroidery, we want it to be more evenly spaced. So here you see it in green, and you're aiming for even stitches and gaps between them. Although here in purple, I've played around with keeping the spaces even and leaving the stitches longer and shorter, so it's a bit of a dot and a dash. In this row, I've done four parallel lines of stitching, trying to get my stitches to line up next to each other in the rows. And then in this one, I've played with offsetting them and changing up the spacing and the length of the stitches to get some different textures. So even though it's a fairly basic stitch, you can get a bit of variety in it when you work it into your embroidery designs. All right, to make a running stitch, you'll bring your thread to the top of your fabric and take a short stitch down and bring your needle back up about the same distance away and then take another short stitch down. And you'll continue that making a little dashed line of stitches. And that's really all there is to it for a running stitch. The only place I used running stitch in this sampler was in the trail of the little bee. And to me it implied movement and airiness, so I liked the fact that it was a very light dashed line that it left behind him. You could also use it in the concentric circles in the center or anywhere else that you wanted to have a more delicate stitch. For this sampler, I think I'm going to use running stitch on the B. It's one of the lighter, more delicate letters in this sampler, so that makes sense to me. I also really liked the way it worked with the V on the previous sampler, and so I'm going to take that and play off of it and do the B with a B flying out of it. So I think that's another good reason to use the running stitch here.